Hello guys, welcome back to the Brutal Master channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In this episode, we're going to talk about another project that recently got listed on Coinbase and this project is called Gollum or the GLM token, right? Again, as always guys, I highly recommend you guys to do your own research on any of the projects we cover on our channel. And for this project, I recommend you guys to go to the website gollum.network in order to learn more about this project, right? So before we talk about Gollum, I want to talk to you guys about Gerard.io. Gerard.io is a centralized exchange that is known for listing low market cap gem tokens way before they get listed on major centralized exchanges. This includes exchanges such as Binance or even Coinbase. So if you have a Gerard.io account and if you buy these low market cap gem tokens, you stand a chance to make 10, 20, 50 or even 100x gains on those cryptocurrencies. And if you don't have an account and if you use the link in the description or on the screen right now to set up your account and buy these low market cap gem tokens, you not only stand a chance to make potential 50 to 100x gains on these crypto, but you also get a 30% trading fee rebate by using the link. And by using the link to sign up, you're also supporting the Brutal Investor channel for which I thank you in advance. So going to the coin market cap page for this token, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to rely on the information presented on coin market caps page for this token, but this is only going to be a peripheral analysis, which means you need to do your own in-depth research before you put your hard-earned money on this token, right? So what is Gollum? On April 28, 2016, the Gollum project was announced by, uh, which was led by Gollum Factory. The network launched on Mainnet on April 10th, 2018. The Gollum network is a decentralized computation network, a new way of distributing redundant computing power to those who are in need of it on demand. So when it comes to the Gollum network itself, it is a decentralized computation project or computation network project that mainly focuses on distributing redundant energy or computing power, right? So if you have redundant computing power that you want to uh, you know, sell to someone, uh, you can basically be a part of the Gollum network and provide your, uh, you know, computing power in return for being the validator or the network uh, kind of like, um, you know, uh, network collator, right? And for people who need it, they can pay a fee and, uh, you know, buy the computing power in the in the fee that's uh, determined in Gollum, Gollum tokens, right? So this product has been around for quite some time right now and it's been... Uh, since August 28th of 2016, which is kind of considered as millennia in the crypto space because things move really fast in the crypto space and a project like Gollum that has been around for quite some time is a really good thing to see, right? And their main it launched on April 10th, 2018. So it is a project that has been around kind of like for quite some time under the radar, um, but uh, it's good to see that this project has finally gotten a Coinbase listing after so many years, right? So it creates a peer-to-peer -peer network where users join on an equal basis to buy and sell computation, splitting up complicated tasks into smaller subtasks on uh, in the network. So when it comes to the main focus of this platform itself, they want to create a peer-to-peer -peer network where users join on an equal basis to buy and sell computation. So you can be a part of the user base to buy and sell uh, crypto, you know, basically computation power using cryptocurrency such as Gollum, or you could be a part of the team that provides the computation energy or a computation power to the blockchain, right? And uh, it's kind of like the the complicated computation power is split into uh, smaller subtasks within the network. So in Gollum, there is no central authority and no user is more or less important than another. So Everyone is the same and people who provide uh, computation power uh, are fully treated equally regardless of how much power uh, computation power you provide, right? GNT or Gollum network token is needed to pay for the computations on the network and is the currency that drives our marketplace. As a requester, you can set a bid for the amount of GNT you are willing to pay to have your task completed. So, they have a network currency called GNT or the Gollum network token or the GLM token, which has been, uh, you know, the which is the recent name that's been used to uh, basically refer to the GNT token. And this is the token that you need to pay for computations on the network itself. And it acts as a currency 
that drives the marketplace of the Gollum network, right? And if you are a requester, you can set a bid for an amount of GNT that you are willing to pay to have your task completed, right? As a provider, you can earn GNT by completing tasks for requesters. You can set your minimum and maximum price thresholds in your settings. So, if you want to become a requester, you can do that. If you want to become a provider, you can basically earn GNT tokens by providing, uh, you know, computation power uh, and by doing computation task for requesters. And you can set your minimum and maximum price threshold in your settings, right? So, that's how you make money. Gollum tools include Gollum SDKs, which uh, include requesters and provider tutorials. So, some of the many tools includes you know an SDK a software development kit for uh, for Gollum that can be used by requesters and uh, providers to uh, kind of like uh, create their own tutorials execution environments such as uh, you know WebAssembly, VM, SG, XStack etc. So you can basically use uh, some of the tools um, such as execution environments that provides access to WebAssembly uh, you know virtual machine as well as SGX stacks as well, Python, JavaScript and Rust API. So, you get access to different APIs such as Python, JavaScript and Rust uh, and also an awesome Gollum community curated list of resources such as links, projects, tools and applications on Gollum. So, you also get a full suite of other tool sets that will help you um, become a successful call editor or uh, you know request right. So, the next section basically talks about the number of tokens that are in circulation, but if you want to know the history of the project itself, you can learn about how did the Gollum network begin, which is something that you can read through by yourself. So, that's pretty much uh, you know the information that concerns us from CoinMarketCap's page for this token. So, let's go to the website itself, right? So, which is Gollum.network. This is the website we'll where you will find their white paper and all that other information that will help you to do your own deep dive research into this product, right? So, right off the bat, they are stating that it is a create, compute and earn platform. So, the Gollum network fosters a global group of uh, creators building ambitious software solutions that will shape the technological landscape of future generations by assessing, uh, sorry, accessing computing power across the platform. So, that is how you will be able to get access to a whole range of uh, resources across the platform. If you want to learn more about this project, you can click on the learn more button here. And if you scroll below, they have the Gollum chess competition, which includes 30,000 Gollum tokens as prize pool, which you can also participate by clicking on the link here. Uh, so, Gollum beta, uh, you know, fourth patch release, which is version 0.9.1, they provide information about that. So, these are all technical information that do not necessarily, um, you know, need to be known need more computing power, Gollum network is an accessible, reliable, open source and censorship resistant protocol, uh, democratizing access to digital resources and connecting users through a flexible open source platform. So, that is basically what this platform is all about and we have basically discussed a lot of these things already. So, you can read through that. Uh, if you see, they have the Gollum difference, it consists of tasks, results as well as expectations, uh, develop faster, better, more freely. The Gollum network through its cutting edge architecture uh, lets developers create ambitious projects without constraints enabling users to process them at top speed. So, you, you know it is a beneficial thing for both the users as well as for the creators as well, right? So, uh, you can re read more about this platform by clicking on the both the platform button here and creative freedom, creative freedom lives here, developer platform. So, for, this is for developers if you want to develop uh, on Gollum, please click on this button here. And if you scroll below, they have multiple other these kind of, uh, you know, interesting images. Uh, profit from idle computing power. Provide your unused computing capacity to those who most need it and get paid in GLM. So, GLM token is provided as an incentive for people to provide their uh, excess computing power, right? You can learn about the tutorial by clicking on the explore the tutorial button here and learn how you can do that, right? So, GLM rewards program, October update, uh, Thor review edition. So, this is some of the updates that they have for the project, you can skip through that and you reach the end of the page that provides you information about the social media, uh, you know, uh, platforms as well as uh, information about their, you know, for developers, products, community, about the token itself and the platform itself, right? So, you can learn more about their uh, platform by going through their website itself, right? 
So going back to the coin market cap page for this token, this token is currently ranked 120th by market cap and coin market cap and it's currently trading at 50.9 cents per token. So again, it is uh, up a little bit about 1.38 percent in the past 24 hours, uh, which is not much, but it's still quite a bit. And if you take a look at the market cap itself, the token has a market cap of about 509 million dollars uh, in market cap which again since this project has been around for quite some time you'd imagine that this project would have at least a billion dollars in market cap but it doesn't seem to be like that which still shows that this project has some considerable amount to go uh, before it can reach a uh, you know, million dollars a billion dollars in market cap right so it's quite interesting nonetheless if you take a look at the max supply that's the best thing about this project is that even though this token has a max supply of 1 billion tokens all the tokens are in circulation which means all the 100% of the max supply is in circulation which means there's literally no chance of uh, you know token slumping price slumping because new tokens won't be dumped into the market uh, and since a lot of uh, the uh, you know since all the uh, price are already factored in when it comes to like the you know, dumping and slumping of the price and sideways action because of the tokenomics uh, the token has a free uh, opportunity to kind of like uh, move wherever it wants to move uh, based on the f uh, full uh, supply and demand uh, price point right so depending on the demand this project can technically go up because there's no hindrance from its tokenomics uh, this is really good thing because if a project has a billion tokens as max supply at least uh, the project could uh, the project could at least make sure that all the tokens are in circulation so that they don't have to worry about newcomers or uh, you know people who mined or staked or got this token as staking rewards don't dump this token relentlessly right so in that case i would say that even though this project has a billion tokens as max supply it definitely has uh, you know all of its tokens in circulation which means this there's no risk of inflationary tokens being dumped into the market right so if you take a look at the charts itself Again, there's a lot of uh, information from the chart you can get because it's been around for quite some time, right? So the information is available from uh, 20th of November 2016 when the token was only worth 1.4 cents at the time and then it rapidly started reaching an all-time high uh, during 2017 which was the, uh, you know, kind of like a most important period in the crypto space when Bitcoin itself crossed the $20,000 mark. Uh, this token obviously reached 72 cents per, uh, per token. Uh, as of 18th of uh, June 2017 and then it crashed, uh, crashed quite a bit and then it kind of rebounded back but it didn't really last long but it kind of reached a lower point of about 18 cents per token as of 28th of October 2017 but then after that the token reached a new all-time high which is currently the actual all-time high for this token of about one dollar and seven cents as of 8th of uh, January 2018 and then it kind of dumped below uh, reaching a price point of again 18 cents per token but it didn't stay here much longer because it went up again retouching the 80 cents mark and then dropping down for good this time so it reached 6 cents per token as of 28th of December 2018 it was moving sideways occasionally making some peaks and dumps but nothing really significant but it was only when the token uh, you know after the end of 2020 during early 2021 it went from 11 cents per token to a uh, relative highs of about 66 cents per token crashed down violently and then went back up retouching the 80 cents per 80 cents per token mark and then crashed again very violently and then now it's kind of trying to rebound upwards i think this token will at least touch the 60 cents mark quite soon now that the coinbase announcement has uh, you know has been happening uh, a lot of people are trying to buy this token and this uh, buying pressure will push the price of this token at least to the 60 cents mark or even 62 cents mark before it collapses down right so you can clearly see that this project is a really good uh, you know timing uh, timely player because it does make a peak a dump peak and a dump peak and a dump so it's kind of like bouncing around in the 20 cent mark so 20 cent mark seems to be the resistance where the not the resistance like the support where this token has been making towards and i think the 80 cent mark is the resistance point so it definitely will break the resistance pretty soon but it seems like the project will be uh, a good project for short term buyers more than long term buyers right again if you had bought this token at the peak 
uh, during 2017 2018 mark when the token was worth one dollar and six or seven cents you still have to hold on to your tokens because unfortunately you won't have um, you know any other opportunity to sell this token for a break even price unless this token uh, breaks the 80 cents mark in the upcoming months which depending on demand it could happen but i don't think it will happen that likely because this project is also something which has been uh, you know there for quite some time and it didn't really make any meaningful push uh, even in the time when this token reached an all-time highs it was quite steep so that shows that there was more like a pump and dump rather than an organic demand for this token which definitely means that this project will not necessarily be a good project for sustained growth in the long term right i think this project will definitely make a bounce up and down and if you are a good uh, you know uh, trader and if you want to trade this token you need to wait till this token crashes to the bottom which it will it seems like this token has had a consistent crash of around 25 cents per token which is probably when you will be uh, required to buy this token and then hold on to it and then once it reaches the 60 to 80 cent mark you can dump it and then restart the process again right this process can take as much as a year where uh, the project can pump at least twice or thrice a year or even once a year if you're lucky but once it pumps and after it dumps you obviously need to come out of it otherwise you're going to lose a lot of money right so that's pretty much my quick overview of this project since it has a lot of data from 2016 you can do some deep dive into this right when it comes to the bitcoin compared to you can clearly see that initially the token was coupled with bitcoin com dollar compared to but right now it seems to be completely decoupled with bitcoin compared to and dollar com sorry uh, completely decoupled with the dollar compared to right so the bitcoin compared to price pattern was initially worth 1700 satoshis per token but then it reached an all time highs of uh, about 25 uh, 23 uh, or even 19 to 23000 satoshis per token before violently crashing downwards and then it kind of like reached its all time low um, you know of 5500 satoshis per token throughout 2019 2020 and 2021 and even in 2022 this token is currently worth 1200 satoshis per token so it seems like this is the best opportunity to buy this token with bitcoin compared to in dollar compared to this is not the best opportunity to buy you need to hold off till the token reaches like 25 to 20 cents per token but in bitcoin compared to you can clearly see that this is the all time low for this token and this is the best time to buy this token right again not financial advice just stating my opinion please do your own research before you put your hard earned money on this token right but it seems like this token can definitely pump now that it's at its all time lows in the bitcoin compared to right when it comes to the markets itself you can clearly see that this token is available on binance and now this token is available on coinbase and huobi global as well so obviously get.io is also a really good exchange to buy this token but binance get.io coinbase and huobi global are the major exchanges that you can use to buy this token it's also listed on uniswap as well as you know several other uh, exchanges including okx crypto.com sushi swap as well but i would say sticking with binance and get.io specifically get.io is the best option because get.io doesn't just list this token but it also lists several other low market cap gem tokens which means by using the link in the description right now uh, and creating an account and buying these tokens you can buy those tokens way before major centralized exchanges can list this token and also get a 30 percent trading rebate when you buy those tokens right so please use the link in the description to set up your get.io account today but Binance and Get.io seem to be having the most uh, volume and liquidity out of any major centralized exchanges. If you are from Korea or if you have access to Bitthumb, then Bitthumb is probably the best option for you because it seems to be having the most liquidity and trading volume for this token, right? So what's my final verdict on this token, guys? I don't think that this project is a good long-term play because it doesn't, seems to it doesn't seem to have sustainable uh, pumps and dumps. It seems to be very violent pumps and very violent dumps despite the fact that this token has been around for quite some time so i would consider this project as a good short term play but not a good long term play it could be a good mid term play as well but it depends on at what price you buy this token at right so i would say that if you buy this token somewhere between 25 or 23 or 20 uh, 20, 20 cents you can definitely get a really good profit once this token hits the previous all time highs of $1.07 and I think in the next upcoming months, if the token doesn't really 
break its pattern it will definitely reach $1.07 or even $1.12.15 before crashing back down violently right so be very careful with that in the long term I don't think this project will do extremely well because I think this project has been around for quite some time and it hasn't really proven itself to be worth significantly higher uh, I would have stated that this if this project were to be somewhere close to the $10 range then I would probably have stated that this project is a good long term play but since it is only just about 50 uh, it is only about 50 x right now since its initial price of 1 cent a lot of other projects have done multiple x's consistently and have had sustainable growth and development which I don't think Gollum will have right. So again my verdict for this token is that it's a good short term play but not a good long term play. But again, please do your own research before you put your hard money on this token, right? Again, remember guys, you guys are not regular investors, you guys are brutal investors, so stay brutal. Thank you very much for watching my video guys. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. See you in my next video. Bye.